And now, the king of boxing, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world from Brockton, Massachusetts, marvelous Marvin Hagler. That's what I feel, war. That's what's on my mind. I've been feeding the faith, and I've been starving the doubt. So there's no doubt in my mind that I can't win this fight or that I won't knock Thomas Hearns out. Today's video, I got a video for you guys on how to counter a right hook to the body. And there's a couple ways that we're gonna show you here today. So if I was boxing Danny and I threw a right hook to his body, what he's gonna do, and I would say we're at this distance, and I throw that right hook to his body like that, he's gonna drop his elbow down and drop his shoulder trajectory from his left shoulder being higher than his right shoulder, and he's gonna drop it down here. I've covered this before where we went down here and he's gonna throw a right uppercut right up the middle like that, or a left uppercut I should say. He's, he's going here and he's throwing, he's blocking it with his left elbow. I'm throwing a right hook and he's gonna throw right on the inside of that hook, he's gonna throw his left uppercut, okay? And I cover all the details in that in a previous video. Go check that out. You guys get a chance on that one, okay? So. Two things on my mind. This is for you, Fully Bell. Destruction and destroy. They told me that you were sick last time. I'm gonna make sure that you're sick this time. This guy had a big mouth. Said I was scared of him in the beginning because I wouldn't give him a shot. At the press luncheon, I'll never forget it. They said that he would knock me out. He's got a nasty smile on his face, which I don't like, and I wanted to take that smile off his face, and which I did. Now, the other thing that we're gonna show you here today is how he can use that same block to throw a left hook to the head. Okay, so when I throw, when I throw, I'm in this range, and I throw that right hook to his body, he can come right back to the head. The same way he threw that one up the middle, he's still blocking it the same way, but this time he's going to my head not with an uppercut, he's going to my head with a left hook. He's on this range, right, on this, on this trajectory, what he's doing in this position, he's gonna block it instead of coming up, instead of coming up, he's gonna just throw that thing over like a hook, okay? He's throwing, not like a hook, he's gonna throw the hook. He's here and he's throwing the left hook, okay? He's going here and he's throwing the left hook. There and he's throwing the left hook. If it's further distance, same thing. If I throw it here, it can really catch and just has to extend the hook more. You can go here and hit me with the hook. Especially if I reach with a hook like, like boom, he's really gonna hit me because if I stay fundamentally, it's, he's gonna have to, a little bit further distance that he's gonna have to make with that left hook to hit it, hit me. He's gonna have a little bit more distance. If I'm here and I throw the right hook here, He's gonna have, he, he doesn't have the angle, but if you have guys that make flaws where they really lean into it like that, he, I'm right there to get hit, temple, chin, I'm leaning here like this, boom, he's hitting me. If you watch Terry Norris fight John the Beast Mugabe, that's what happened in that fight. John the Beast Mugabe throws a, a lagging him. It, was, it was, wasn't so much of a, a right hook. From a distance, he kind of threw the right hand but what it was is when he threw it, he kind of looped it around. It wasn't, it wasn't completely straight. He kind of had a curve on it. But even if you throw a straight, even if the guy throws a straight right hand like that, you could throw that punch. Especially if the guy's leaning, you could go here and throw that left hook, boom. If he leans like this, boom. See, like that? And, and Terry Norris caught John the Beast Mugabe with that shot and, 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 and uh, really knocked him down and really put him really hurt him and then end up finishing him in the fight later on that round. I'm waiting right in, testing John Mugabe early. It behooves Norris to dance and box and use his skills as much as he can. Good lift from Norris, and Mugabe is staggered. John Mugabe goes down. Off Terry with a left hook. This is early in round one, first minute of the round. There, that left hook on his temple, and his legs were gone at that point. The other way that you can throw that left hook to the head is if you watch what Danny's doing, if we go from this angle, okay, and he, and he, and he throw, when I, the, 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 the previous way that he does it, we just covered it, is he's dropping himself, when I throw the right hook, he's just dropping right there and he's coming back with a left hook, okay? Now, the other way that he can do this is he can make me feel that elbow when I throw the right hook and he could make that, Elbow and this arm be at that trajectory while he drops, while he drops this shoulder trajectory as well. 
So he's in his position, and I throw that right hook, and he, see what he did right there? Then he throws the left hook from there, okay? So he's dropping that right, and if he catches me there, and we had covered this before, but the, what we covered before was he does that, and he th oh, again, he threw the uppercut. It was another way that he could throw the left uppercut. When he goes here, he throws the left uppercut. But he can come back to the head with the same shot. I throw the right, and he catches me there, and he, that's it. Just a nasty, nasty thing because I'm getting hit with an elbow and then I'm getting hit with a left hook. So I'm throwing the right hook. He's dropping that in there. See, he's pointing that, that elbow. While he takes this shoulder trajectory, he's in this position right here. He drops the shoulder trajectory and he drops the elbow on the right hook and then he comes back with his left hook. So the way we can work that on the mitts, it's like I said, I'm throwing, I'm throwing a right hook to his body with the first way. We're going to go here. That's it. As you can see, his left shoulder is higher than his right shoulder. So what he does when he goes to block, he changes the shoulder trajectory where the left shoulder is lower than the right shoulder, okay? He's going to go right here. He's going to block and come back with the hook to the head. That's it. So I'm, I'm just drilling him on how to make that movement and make that block and come back with that hook. it, just drilling it, making sure that he's doing all the right things right there. Like I said, it's not practice makes perfect. It's perfect practice makes permanent, okay? So that's the key, okay? What he's doing right there, boom, he's dropping it, that's it. Now the next way is with him dropping that elbow. He's going here, okay, he throws the hook, right off the elbow drop. And for him, what he's trying to really learn how to do is be accurate as well, not just on the offensive end, but on the defensive end. So he's trying to place that elbow right on my pad. And that makes him more proficient. He's learned how to really be a, a really a, 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 a mastering his craft. He's really learned how to master his craft because he's really learning accuracy, not just offensively, defensively. but defensively. So he's, not just, he's not just doing whatever he wants to do. He's really trying to be precise and have that precision, precision of that elbow hitting into that pad, and then he's throwing the hook. He just sees the pad. I'm not hitting into that elbow. He's taking his elbow to the pad. It's not like me looking for his elbow to give it to him. I'm not trying to find his elbow for him. He's trying to find the pad with his elbow, okay? So I'm just throwing it. To where I think, where I think that where I can land the body shot. I'm trying to go around. And he's, that's it. Because if he misses it, it could slide in there, right? Mm -hmm. So like if I throw it, let's say he just misses it, I could get him. So he's got to be good with that. He's got to be good with that. I could be throwing for his body, he can miss it, and I could just slide it in there. So he's got to be accurate where he learns how to change that shoulder trajectory and time it and really drop it in there and then throw it, right. That's it. Beautiful. So that's just a really good way to really, like I said, two good ways right there to deal with that right hook to the body. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Kello Boxing. And also go to the website, World Class Boxing Gym, get on the email list. So you guys are updated for all the new stuff coming out. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. One thing I won't do is let you tell me to save my faith.